Hello all, welcome to runtrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we embed a BIP report with parameters in Oracle Fusion ERP. So, so let's see what is the output expected first. So here, if you observe, this is the AP invoice page in Oracle Fusion. And here you can observe a supplier report wherein we are displaying the data based on the vendor provided. So like uh, this kind of sample we'd like to, you know, like uh, discuss today. And what are the things you require? The first thing you require is we need to create a sandbox with page composer tool. And we need to add a content and the style is HTML markup. And the source code what you keep in or the content what you write in the HTML markup is a iframe, the nothing, nothing but an HTML syntax wherein we provide the report path as well as some sort of BIP parameters path, parameters information we mentioned in this particular syntax. So let's see here if you observe, like this is the one which I was talking about. The first thing is like once you create a sandbox with page composer tool, you need to add a content of style or a component type HTML markup. And in that HTML markup, you need to provide this particular iframe SRC logic. We'll discuss in detail what are the parameters we have to pass it and what are the significance of each particular parameter. Okay. So here if you observe the initial one, the variable name is xdevo. And what is the value you have to pass? You have to pass the value of your report. And there's another variable called XPT wherein you have to mention either zero or one provides information about how you want to see your report. And similarly, like uh, we have a mode wherein if at all if it is two, it provides the banner with a banner else it does not provide a banner, something like that. And the output type, XF, and outer run option, and then link to report, and the width as well as the height. And the other very important one is the parameters. And here, if at all, if you want to specify a different layout, also you can mention it. So these are some of the high-level parameters which you need to mention while invoking the BIP report from the Oracle Fusion, okay? So now what we do is we'll just go to the Fusion ERP instance, and let us see the existing one, and also we'll try to design the new one, okay? So let me show you the report first. I'll just reload this one. And here you can observe, let us say, I'll just click on apply on this report. And you know, like as per the logic, but what I have written, it just displays nine records. If you don't provide a parameter, let us say if you provide a parameter, nothing but if you provide a supplier number, it provides the data of that particular supplier number. Okay, this is the expected uh, uh, design of this particular report. So now here you can observe the path of this report, XMLP server, customer or trainings, XXRI embed, BIP reports.xdvo. Now what we do is, so here, this is the AP invoice page, uh, wherein we created a page compose like a sandbox with a page composer tool, okay? So this is how, like, you know, we'll try to design from the scratch again, okay? So what I'll do is I'll just come out of this sandbox. I'll just click on leave this sandbox and we'll try to design this particular logic from a scratch, right? So what I'll do is I'll just go to payable invoices and here we'd like to have a page composer, right? So I'll just click on edit pages, click on your user account, click on edit pages, click on activate a sandbox. Now create a sandbox. And I'll just say XXORA embed VIP report version three. And the tool what we require is page composer. Make sure that you select it and click on create and enter. And we'll go to home, then we'll navigate to payable invoices. And here, either you can create a new invoice or you can just search the existing one and we'll try to design uh, display there. So let us, I'll try to search the existing invoice. Now let's say, as of now, we don't have any VIP report available here. What we do is click on tools, page composer, I want to display the BIP report under the invoice header. Nothing but between header and lines, I want to display the report. So click on structure and find out where you want to insert. Let us say here, if you observe, right? Yeah, so here, I click here on the top. Above invoice header, I'm just clicking the icon and then we got the edit option. I'll just click on confirm edit shade component. And here, if you observe, it is not showing any plus symbol. And let's try again. So I'll just click on the inside one. If you observe, I clicked here. Now I could see invoice header. I'll just scroll up a little bit. So above invoice header, I want to find out that what is a component. So this is a panel group layout. Above invoice header, I'm just clicking on this one. And let's see whether it shows a plus symbol. Yes, it is allowing us to add a new content. So I'll click on this add content. And now 
click on components now here make sure that you select html markup okay yes and now here if you observe the positioning of this particular markup is above invoice header so what you can do is click on this panel group layout default click on edit it shows the list of components which are available here the child components and just make it as down one level down so it will get displayed under the invoice header okay Yeah, so it's not showing the OK button. Yeah, apply. OK. Yes, so now it is under the invoice header. The next thing is click on this particular HTML markup. Now you can just click on add content. Now here it shows this particular icon called edit. Click on this edit icon. Now in this particular value area, we have to provide the path of our XMLP report. And we already prepared this particular uh, signature of this one. So you can see here iframe, nothing but embedding a content, HTML content inside HTML pages called iframe. And the source one is that the first one you have to provide the path of your XDO report. And the remaining parameters Mostly it should be as is and there is one more parameter called underscore XDO wherein you have to provide the same path similar path But here we have to start from the Custom or nothing but like a leave about your particular ERP server path Just start with the path what start with the exact path of your report and then mention the appropriate one like a mode Output time and all those things and then the very important one is the parameter here you can see here ampersand p underscore vendor number vendor underscore nm is equal to I am passing the bind parameter of supplier number value from this particular page. Okay, if at all, if you want to pass the bind parameter from the page, you can mention this one. Let us, I just like to have only the height of 300. So I'm just going with the height of 300 and width is okay, 99% is fine. So I'll copy this particular content, HTML content, and here in this one, click on expression builder. Just paste this one. Okay, apply. Just click on okay. Now you can observe here the parameter was passed automatically and it is getting executed automatically. So you're not even passing it. You can try the other one. Let's say I'll just click on save and close this one. We'll try to create a new invoice and you can observe how the parameter will get passed. Yeah, so I'll just click on done. Let's try to create a new invoice. So now in this scenario, maybe it will pass null value because as per our logic, we meant like uh, the report, we thought of pro executing it automatically, right? That's why it got executed automatically. So in some scenarios it is correct, in some scenarios it is wrong, right? Because it is just getting executed automatically without even providing the parameter, right? Once I provide the parameter, can you see? Let us I provide the supply number automatically it got executed, 1270. You can try one more. ABC Bank, supply number 1359, perfect. So we are able to dynamically execute, the, execute this particular report based on the parameter which we are selecting in the invoice header level okay so this is how we can embed a bip report in oracle fusion thank you